Hello Christian and channel members, viewers and subscribers, very good day to you all. So I am really happy to meet you all once again, this time with a genuine review about a very famous trending journal which is currently in the minds of the researchers. The name of the journal is European Chemical Bulletin. So we have heard many of the faculty members, research scholars and even industry specialists even publishing their research papers with the European Chemical Bulletin. So in this video, we'll try to find out whether this journal is currently in the Scopus indexing and if this journal is currently in the Scopus indexing, we'll try to find out how long will this journal remain in the Scopus indexing. So earlier were the days where they used to update the Scopus journal list every year. So the journals will have a lifeline within that year to publish quality research papers. But now every month, even when they receive a complaint from uh, many authors or maybe universities stating that this journal is publishing so many plagiarized research papers, then immediately this journal would be removed from the Scopus list. We'll also understand in this video about the processing or maybe publication charges about this particular journal. So we'll also understand what are the uh, subject fields that are included to get your research paper accepted. So without wasting much of our time, let us go straight into the review of European Chemical Bulletin. So this is the journal we are reviewing about. The name of the journal is European Chemical Bulletin. So we are searching in the Google. So we are getting some search results. So the first search result which comes is yourchembull.com. So this is the website for the European Chemical Bulletin. So down you can see uh, some uh, indexing databases like SciImago JR and directory of open access journals even we have the links from scopus journal searches also so straight away we'll go for the first website so that is your kimbull.com so this is the website for this particular journal so in the home page you can see call for paper in special issue the submission deadline is also mentioned so everywhere they have mentioned that uh, it is indexed by the scopus and it falls in the q3 quartile so they have given a gmail id euro chemical bulletin at the rate of gmail.com so you can contact this email id if you have any queries as you can see the sections of this particular journal uh, if you have research papers related to organic synthesis and maybe chemistry of natural products pharmaceutical and maybe medicinal chemistry analytical and environmental chemistry inorganic material chemistry so all related to chemistry if you have research papers then definitely you can submit them so uh, some people might ask whether we can submit papers related to soil uh, or maybe civil construction so definitely if the journal accepts it is well and good as per uh, my experience we have submitted some papers related to civil construction and soil related as well and they have accepted and published their research papers So this is the ISN number of this particular journal. About the abstracting and indexing, you can see that the journal is indexed with the Scopus, Sci Omega JR. I really don't know why they have mentioned Sci Omega JR. Of course, Scopus, it is well and good. And of course, they have mentioned that uh, it is indexed also in the veterinary science database. So when we browse through the issues, uh, like 2023, so we can see almost like eight issues. We are in the sixth month and we can see eight issues and there are many special issues also uh, but we can see uh, if in 2022 uh, there are no special issues there are only 12 issues but back if you scroll during 2021 we have only four issues when we go through one particular issue like uh, issue number one maybe i assume that it is january 2023 we can find numerous articles here although the papers are having international origin but uh, you know accepting too many papers and publishing them i really uh, don't know how far it will remain in the scopus database when we went through the editorial board we can see that uh, the uh, editor-in-chief belongs to india okay and there are some editors uh, for which the affiliation is incomplete the basic requirement for getting uh, issn for a journal would be displaying the complete contact details full affiliation details with the email id but here we are not getting a complete uh, uh, details here so if you scroll down to the editorial board members section editor uh, some of the members are incomplete when we went through the contact information of course uh, address is been given but it's not 
fully complete i really wonder why the uh, hungary country origin journal is having a indian member as a editor in chief so what we'll do we'll search in the sai imago jr sai imago journal rank so here we have searched for european chemical bulletin so here it shows the country is hungary the subject area and category it falls in the chemistry miscellaneous so the publisher it is duton x limited so here we have obtained h index to be 11 fairly a good score uh, we have the same ISSN what we saw in the website okay so they have mentioned coverage years from 2017 to 2022 as i have repeatedly told in many of the videos that uh, sai imago jr only publishes one year before okay after successful verification of this year maybe 2023 they will put it in 2024 so you need not have to worry but here we are uh, not getting any information here it shows information not localized also how to contact in this journal home page email id nothing has been mentioned if you go to the quartiles uh, till 2022 it belongs to the q3 category so until 2021 it was in the q4 quartile okay so here we can see the two year four year and five year statistics as well but if we go through the comments several have commented okay you can see only three articles in 2023 indexed by the scopus in this particular journal and many have commented that there are many special issues than the regular issues i found one interesting comment here uh, one particular author has commented i found double publication in this journal which means the same paper has been published two times so it is so unprofessional so he has also mentioned that this journal is suspicious many complaints have come okay so many papers uh, was not recognized as scopus so uh, he or she is requesting to you know cross check this particular journal there is also another interesting comment so uh, christian has mentioned the first issue in 2023 contains 3000 pages okay so what would be the submission criteria and how you get the acceptance and for 3000 pages how much would be the charges so many questions are raised because of this one and as we can see in the website there are too many papers of all fields well we have received some negative comments in sai imago jr but we can see that the journal comes under q3 quarter so the best way is to check the scopus database so here we go to scopus.com here we select the sources here title is being selected okay so here you are going to search for european chemical bulletin okay so here we are getting some suggestion we'll click on this one so here you can see uh, that uh, this is the journal european chemical bulletin so citations uh, we can see 509 uh, citations from 2019 till 2022 percentage cited is 39 so we will click on this particular one so we are getting the information about this journal okay surprisingly you can see scopus coverage years from 2017 till present okay so publisher the same issn the same uh, source type journal here we are getting source home page so we will click on this one okay so here it points to your bull.com so what we have reviewed earlier okay so all the papers published there we believe it will be indexed okay so here you can see the scopus content coverage so 2023 there are only three documents we are right now in june 2023 okay so only three documents but if you see in each of the regular issues each of the special issues there are numerous number of articles okay but only three documents so we believe that these three documents would be from the chemistry field and not from any other field uh, so that is the reason even if you publish more number of papers only those papers in the relevant field will get indexed in the scopus database so we have understood that this journal is in the sci imago jr of course we have found it in the scopus database so next one we will check in the web of science database so here are we in the mjl master journalist dot uh, .com. so here we can check for this particular journal european chemical bulletin okay so we can go for search journals okay so here we can see so there are no journals which are currently matching this title okay so we have searched for european chemical bulletin but the search results are bulletin of chemical reaction engineering and catalysis bulletin of the chemical society of japan so many search results have come so which means that this journal is not in the web of science database so next we will go for abdc australian business genes council okay so here we have searched for european chemical bulletin so i am clicking on enter okay 
we can see that there are no journals that match these parameters so which means that this journal is not in the abdc journal list so next one we'll go for uh, ugc care list okay so it is given very clearly here okay so here ugc care list group 2 journals indexed in globally recognized databases which means that if it is in the scopus then definitely immediately automatically it is in the ugc care group 2 you need not have to verify okay but anyway if you uh, search for this particular journal name european chemical bulletin in the group 1 and after you know logging in you will see no search result okay so which means that it will not be found in the group 1 but it is uh, understood directly that uh, it falls in the group 2 list so you can see that this journal is coming under sci imago jr of course in the scopus database but you cannot find this journal in the web of science database or abdc journal list but automatically it means that it falls under ugc care group 2 so about the processing or maybe publication charges with this particular journal we have searched okay european chemical bulletin publication charges so here we can see some search results from directory of open access journals and also we can see in the journal searches.com okay so i'm going through one particular website doaj.org so they have mentioned it is 100 euro so 100 euro uh, in us dollars is approximately 100 uh, dollars okay so we can check okay 100 euros to inr it is 8870 so 100 euro is same as 100 dollars which is same as maybe approximately 8000 in indian rupees through the agents through the associations they are charging a maximum of 250 dollars which is approximately 20,000 in indian rupees and the publication time they say it has four months but definitely through the guest editors you can get immediate acceptance and may be published within two months let me tell you that two months is the maximum time period that you can expect paper to be published in this journal as we can see in the website they are accepting too many papers and publishing enormous number of papers in the scopus database in 2023 you find only three documents so if the complaints rise on and on as you can see in sci imago jr then definitely i believe that this journal will be removed from the scopus indexing very soon so if you have any clarification questions or queries please share them in the comment section so i'm sure you would have benefited a lot out of this useful review so if you have any positive experience or maybe negative experience with regards to acceptance or maybe rejection please share them in the comment section and suppose if you have come across any scopus or maybe web of science or maybe sci ugc or maybe abdc journal and if you are in a confusion whether to go for the journal or not please share them in the comment section as well as you know very well we will try to give a very bold and a genuine review about the journal that you are going for so see you then in a very interesting genuine review till then collaboration is everything